Good morning. I need to get pants out of that drawer. <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? I think you did. I got my pants. Uh, okay, so we did a little shopping yesterday with my grandma. Um... So, I mean, I didn't get a lot of things, but I just thought I'd sh just show you. Uh, first thing I got was flip-flops, but this was because I forgot to bring mine. So my aunt bought me those. And they're dirty, so they shouldn't be on the table. These are clean, though. Alright. So we went to Five Below, and I have been looking for, like, fairy lights or something to go underneath my bunk bed. So, <clears throat> we went to Five Below, and I found these. They're rocks. Himalayan salt string lights. And I just thought they looked really, they looked really cute. So, I'm about to open these and figure out how they work. But first, the last thing I got is a book. It's like, what the heck is that? Um, yeah, I was craving to buy another book, so I asked my grandma to buy me one. So I got Nicholas Sparks, The Rescue. So let's open these up. It said it was five feet. I'm five feet, and they say that your body length is about the length of your your fingertips to your fingertips. So yeah, it's about five feet. <laughs> My question is, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to put this on my bunk bed? This is the, the end of it. They put the rock on the end of it, so. Maybe I should have gone with the smaller lights. But I thought these are really pretty. I don't know how to hang it up now. We'll figure it out. I got all the rock dust on my shirt. Now I can show you how messy they are. And look at this mess on my table. I burped. I so should have been vlogging. I just turn, I just put the batteries in and the lights just came on. <laughs> They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Wow. Let's go see how they work in the dark. It's getting darker and darker. But I'm going to turn this light on because it's kind of freaky in here. Okay. This is my parents' closet. It's pretty. Cool. 
Now, how am I going to put these on my bunk bed? Okay, so what is the deal with Donald Trump banning TikTok? I'm very skeptical about this because it sounds so fake. So, like, what? And why? Why is Donald Trump banning, um, banning TikTok? It doesn't make any sense to me, so I don't believe it. I'm not going to believe it until I actually get on TikTok and it's suddenly banned. I don't know what that's going to look like. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me. Someone explain why is he banning TikTok? Is this fake news? I heard that TikTok was supposed to be banned today. I just got on TikTok. It is not banned. Unless some authorities are going to come to my door and arrest me for being on TikTok. I don't believe it. I don't think TikTok is banned. I think that is just a whole piece of crap. Yeah. If you know otherwise, let me know. This guy is just sleeping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Are you ready to go outside yet? <laughs> oh, my baby. My sweet, sleepy baby. We are doing something very exciting today. That's it. Liquid starch. Have you told Emily what we're making yet? I, I don't think I have. Have I told you what we're making yet? No. Well, let me do it because I'm vlogging. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Look, there's star stickers in here. There are. So I have my little cousin with me. How old are you, Emily? Five. Five. She's five years old. And so today we're having a little science day, and we, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make colors. We are. We are going to make slime. Ooh, slime. Yes. So. Is that why we have green glue? It's not green. This is actually glow in the dark blue with what? sparkles in it. But what we're gonna do is we have this food coloring here. We have this food coloring. And we are going to color it any color we want. And we can mix the colors too. Remember last week when we dropped the food coloring in the water and we changed the colors? Oh, yeah. We're going to do that with the glue. Oh, then, yeah. There's all kinds of colors in yeah. here. Then we also have these, this color changing one. And for this one we have these sparkly stickers that we're going to put in it. And for the glow in the dark one, we have these little jewels and things like that. And we got our shaving cream and we have our activator. And that's a heavy bottle. It is. Okay. And it's blue. We got a bowl. We got a spoon. We're all ready. We are ready. Got a slime.
know how to do it. Now you stick your fingers in it, look. And it makes weird sounds. Hey, look! Now it's a pie! Look, Jesse's not sticky anymore. It's a pie! It's a pie! It's a pie! Guess what? What? That slime is glow in the dark. It's gonna glow? Yeah. yeah. Does it you glow? see my slime? Does it glow? It's glowing. <gasps> that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, look. It it's on it. Big dog. Yeah, there is it. Okay, we are at Fork and Links, and this is our first time trying it. Let's see. Yeah. Watching the best thing to ever be on television. All the pretty little ponies. Pork and links was pretty good. Oh, and number six was winning the race. Yes! Okay, back home. Sky's been left in the crate. It's all time. Let me go in first. I'm vlogging. Let's see how she did. <gasps> She's out the crate, but there's no trash. Did she run out of episodes so you tried to change it? <laughs> Okay, well, everything looks intact. Let me check my bedroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Watch your tail, sweetie. Watch your tail. Don't knock over your, your auntie. Okay, my room is intact. <laughs> Good girl. What are we going to do with you? You broke out your crate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you were so good. Yes, you were. You were good. <laughs> oh my sweetness. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Still not good lighting, but hey, it's pretty. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, well, the lighting's still bad, but I found a setting that kind of kind of fixes it. I mean, it's still dark, but it looks a bit better, I guess. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get into our gratitude, our three positive blessings, or positive things and blessings, and then our scripture for tonight. Number one, I spent the whole day with some family, with my two little cousins, my uncle and his wife, my aunt, 
Um, and we made slime and did fun science stuff. And then we went out to eat at a new place. We had awesome food and I got to watch a horse race. I'm gonna make that number two, watching the horse race. My worst loving heart. Horse fever is hitting me real bad now. Um, number three. Sky broke out of her cage, but she did not wreak havoc upon everything in the house. So, she deserves a, a big reward. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. And our scripture tonight, I have several verses that I'm going to read to you. This is in 2 Nephi, for, um, 2 Nephi chapter 25. And I'm going to start with verse 13. Behold, they will crucify him. And after he is laid in a sepulcher for the space of three days, he shall rise from the dead with healing in his wings, and all those who shall believe on his name shall be saved in the kingdom of God. Wherefore, my soul delighteth to prophesy concerning him, for I have seen his day, and my heart doth magnify his holy name. Verse 16. Yea, even down from generation to generation, until they shall be persuaded to believe in Christ, the Son of God, and the Atonement, which is infinite for all mankind. And when that day shall come, that they shall believe in Christ, and worship the Father in his name, with pure hearts and clean hands, and look not forward any more for another Messiah, then at that time the day will come that it must needs be expedient that they shall believe these things. 17. And the Lord will set his hand again the second time to restore his people from their lost and fallen state. Wherefore, he will proceed to do a, a marvelous work and a wonder among the children of men. 19. And according to the words of the prophets and also the word of the angel of God, his name shall be Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 20. And now, my, my brethren... I have spoken plainly that ye cannot err. And as the Lord God liveth that brought Israel up out of the land of Egypt, and gave unto Moses power that he shall heal the nations after they had been bitten by the poisonous serpents, if they would cast their eyes unto the serpent which he did raise up above before them, and also gave him power that he should smite the rock, and the water should come forth. Yea, behold, I say unto you, that as these things are true, and as the Lord liveth, there is none other name given under heaven, save it be this Jesus Christ, for which I have spoken, whereby man can be saved. 22. Wherefore, these things shall go from generation to generation, as long as the earth shall stand, and they shall go according to the will and pleasure of God. 23. For we labor diligently to write and to persuade our children and also our brethren to believe in Christ and to be re reconciled to God. For we know that it is by grace that we are saved after all we can do. And notwithstanding, we believe in Christ. We keep the law of Moses and look forward with steadfastness unto Christ until the law shall be fulfilled. 28. And the words which I have spoken shall stand as a testimony against you, for they are sufficient to teach any man the right way. For the right way is to believe in Christ and deny him not. For by denying him ye also deny the prophets and the law. 29. And now behold, I say unto you that the right way is to believe in Christ and deny him not. And Christ is the Holy One of Israel. Wherefore, ye must bow down before him, and worship him with all your might, mind, and strength, and your whole soul. And if ye do this, ye shall in no wise be cast out. So moral of the story, 
is there is none other than Jesus Christ. There is none other way to receive a remission of our sins. There is none other way to become perfect. There is none other way to reach peace and rest. There's none other way, period, than through Jesus Christ. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good night.